Meetings Act, this is to announce the adequate notice of this meeting has been provided. Also, pursuant to the 2022 bylaws, rules, and regulations of the Board of County Commissioners of the County of Burlington, time shall be set aside on the agenda for receipt of public comments. Public comments will be received with respect to agenda items prior to board consideration of resolutions to be adopted. An additional opportunity for public comment will occur later in the meeting. Public comment shall be limited to four minutes per speaker. Unused time may not be transferred to another speaker. Persons may speak once per public comment period. I direct the deputy clerk to enter into the minutes of this meeting, this public announcement, and the advance written notice of this meeting. Commissioner Echol? Here. Commissioner Hobson? Here. Deputy Director Pullian is absent. Commissioner Singh? Here. Director O'Connell? Here. Thank you, Eric. I'm looking for a motion to approve the minutes of the public and conference meetings of October 26, 2022. <laughs> Motion by Hobson, second by Singh. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Tonight we have a recognition on the agenda for Operation Greenlight for Veterans. I'm going to turn things over to Commissioner Allison Eckel, the board's liaison to military and veterans affairs. Commissioner Eckel. Thank you, Director. Good evening, everyone. As we are all aware, Friday is Veterans Day, but we believe that we have the responsibility to honor and thank our veterans, active duty, and reserve service members every single day of the year. November is also Military Families Appreciation Month, when we recognize the service and sacrifices of the men and women in military uniform, and also their family members who must also sacrifice. A big reason why Burlington County is a special place to live, work, and raise a family is the military installation in our backyard. Joint Base McGuire Diggs Lakehurst has been a part of our county for more than 100 years and is home to more than 40,000 dedicated service members, civilian defense employees, and their families. Our county would be a very different place without this installation and the men and women who work and live there. So we must continue to do our part to support them. Burlington County is also home to 30,000 plus veterans. It's because of them and their service we have the many freedoms that are the hallmarks of our democracy. So when you meet a veteran or see a service member in uniform, please thank them. Of course, one of our most important ways we thank our veterans is to take care of and treat them like the heroes they are. That means making sure they receive the top-notch health care they deserve and were promised, as well as any additional benefits they are eligible to receive because of their service. Our Division of Military and Veteran Services does an extraordinary job assisting our county's veterans with their paperwork and advocating to make sure they receive all the benefits they earned. This year alone, our team has managed to help Burlington County veterans obtain more than $12 million in compensation and benefits. With us tonight are Division Director Evelyn Rosado, some of our Veteran Services officers and staff. We'd like to take a moment to thank them for their services they perform every day for our veterans. Especially because a lot of our friends are in the back and there's a pillar in there. We have here a certificate for you, friend for your team, thank from the you. Commissioner Board. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you do all the time. It's our every pleasure. day. It's our pleasure. I know that it's we just have our heart in, in it. Oh, we have a passion for what we do. And so I think that shines. That's what through. makes us special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This whole team. Yes. Well, it's not just a job. That's right. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. For Thank you. you. Thank you for being here tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I have a few more things to say, Director. All right. <laughs> so thank you all for being here tonight to receive that um, and let us thank you. We also want to take a moment to recognize and thank Preston Sharp, a 17-year-old, he's not here tonight, our 17-year-old who came all the way from California to New Jersey to honor veterans in Burlington County this morning. For those who are familiar with Preston's story, for the past seven years, 
He's been traveling to cemeteries around the country to honor veterans at rest. This morning, he performed the service at Lakeview Memorial Park in St. Vincent. And I'm very pleased to share that close to 200 volunteers turned out to assist him, including many veterans and active military service members. It was an incredible event, and Commissioner Director O'Connell and I were very proud to participate. New Jersey is the 49th state where Preston has performed this service, and he's scheduled to make it 50 tomorrow when he goes to Delaware to honor veterans in a cemetery there. We want to thank him and all who turned out to help honor the veterans who are at rest in Lakeview. Tomorrow, there is another special event. The county will hold its annual Veterans Medal Ceremony at Burlington County Library. This year, we expect to award our county's military service medal to 30 veterans. It is an important ceremony, and the medals are one way for us to let veterans know their service is not forgotten, and our county is here to assist them if needed. Residents can also honor and thank veterans from their own homes and workplaces by participating in Operation Greenlight, which I think was the whole point of my remarks tonight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a new initiative created by the National Association of Counties. All this week, residents are encouraged to display green lights or change at least one light bulb inside or outside their home to a green light bulb to show support for military veterans and their families. We think this is a great idea and lets veterans and their families know all of Burlington County appreciates their service and sacrifices. Thank you all for listening, and thank you all for joining with us in showing support for our military members. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Eckel, and thank you to our dedicated staff of the Military <coughs> Veteran Services Office. Thank you guys for being here tonight. I'm looking forward to being with you tomorrow morning. We appreciate everything you guys do for all our veterans every, every day. We're moving on to public comments on agenda items. Anyone who wishes to speak on other topics will have a chance to do so later in the meeting. When it is your turn to speak, please state your full name and address for the record. As a reminder, each speaker is limited to four minutes and may only speak once per comment for public comment portion. Do we have any other, oh wait, I'm sorry, Luis Lopez. Good evening, my name is Louis Lopez, uh, 98 Little Drive, Mount Holly, New Jersey. I just want to say thanks for, the, for the, all the veteran people for the service. And I would like to say in Spanish, if you don't mind, uh, gracias por todos los veteranos, por los servicios. My not Spanish, not perfect, but I'll say <laughs> thank you. Uh, and I want to say further gratulation to Addison Echo, Andy Kim, uh, Kim Burton, Tara, uh, and one of our sheriff, James Colapis, for their, you know, winning. And uh, I have three uh, questions. It's uh, number H. Oh, I mean, uh, 811, 824, and 826. Can you clarify more? H11, H24, and H26, you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Conway here. At least for H11, I'm going to ask if you would uh, give it to either David or Charlene, and we'll get you an answer on that. Okay, thank you. Question. On H24, Allison, you have a Sure, I can take that one. Um, on H24, um, we, we, we install and run water gauges in a couple of our rivers, so in conjunction with the U.S. Geological Survey so that we can uh, know when the, when the water levels are getting too high and the Office of Emergency Management can respond. And this is just funding for those gauges. So thank you. And I can take H26. It's just a request for proposals um, for emergency veterinarian services. So we're just putting out a request for proposals to interview companies. Uh, can I have a question to pretend? 
as they say, as a senior citizen or a senior person who, you know, requested service for their dog, you know, the senior dog, that's under that category? Somewhat, somewhat, but it, this is, this would be more or less for um, the pets that are already at the shelter. Oh, at the shelter. So this would be for the pets that are currently at the shelter, yes, and need emergency services. Are there any, any other programs that help, you know, senior people with their pets? Do you think that there's any program out there? You, what kind of help are you Like, they say like uh, elderly women need help with the chihuahua, or, you know what I mean? Can't. I don't believe we, the county offers those types of services. We have a lot of services for senior citizens. I don't believe that's one of them. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sherla, Malika. I'm correct, right? So we don't offer that service. Is there any way you could consider that in the future? Like, you know, students should uh, have their pet as their as to keep them alive, keep them, you know, to uh, buy air, to give them energy, and they need their pet, you know, and the pet gets oh, sick. find some other, there might be some other organizations that do that. We can, we can definitely look into it and see if we can find other organizations that do that. I would appreciate if you could, you know, find something. I love, you know, I love my pets. I mean, <laughs> mama's love right, her pet. Right. Well, it's so only 19, close to 19 years old. It's a very old dog. Yeah, and 11 kids. All right. And, uh, just don't forget, uh, what kind is the meaning for tomorrow at the County County Library? Uh, it's 11 a.m. at the library. Oh, cool. I, I can make it. <laughs> and don't forget, uh, we have a service uh, November 11 at 11 a.m. at the Veterans Park by Mahari. Any, any other, like those in different township? Do yeah. you have a list or something like that? We yeah. don't have a list. I imagine if you look at the individual towns, maybe on their website, they, they might have what they're offering. I know. Uh, like for example, like Delaware or Willembro. Willembro's happens on Friday at eleven. On Friday at eleven. So yeah, they're changing the name to like from Leavitt Parkway to Veterans Parkway, and then they're going to start their parade. And same thing for Delaware, right? I don't know about Delaware. I don't think we have a. Okay. Uh, we may have a ceremony, but I'm not, I'm not aware of it. Yeah. Uh, so your four minutes. I'm sorry, your four minutes. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Actually, it's nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other folks or comments on agenda items? Seeing none, I'm going to close this portion of public comment. I would like to make a, a motion to approve resolution H1 for unanimous consent. Motion by O'Connell, second. Second by Hobson. Any questions? Erin, please conduct the roll call. Commissioner Eppel? Yes. Commissioner Hobson? Yes. Commissioner Singh? Yes. Director O'Connell? Yes. Thanks, Erin. Motion passes. Now, I'd like to make a motion to approve resolutions H2 through H20 for unanimous consent. Motion by O'Connell, seconded by Hobson. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Commissioner Eckel. Thank you, Director. I'd like to make a motion to approve resolutions H21 through H25 for unanimous mm -hmm. consent. Second. Motion by Eckel, seconded by Singh. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? <coughs> motion passes. Commissioner Hobson. Thank you, Director. I'd like to make a motion to move for unanimous consent H26 through H31. Second. Motioned by Hobson, seconded by Eckel. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Do we have any questions from the media this evening? Moving on, we'll now begin public comments on non-agenda items. Each speaker is limited to four minutes and may only speak once per public comment portion. When it is your turn, please state your full name and address for the record. Luis Lopez. Jeff Quick. Uh, Lewis Lopez, 98, Level 5, Mahali, New Jersey. Two quick questions. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming by and vote 
It was nice, peaceful. It was no anything of any kind. I worked at the pool and it was great. We see more people than last year, like 30% more. I saw. I would love to see a hundred percent everyone in a boot. And has there any, be any issue in the Bronte County area of any voting? I'm just curious. None that I'm aware of, please. And thank for everyone uh, and uh I hope I'll see you uh tomorrow. Are you having here? Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else for comments on non agenda items? Seeing none on that was just one minute. Oh. Please come forward. Hi, my name is Tanika Harper, 12 North Hill Drive, West Hampton. I can start. Go ahead. Okay, I'm the mother of a student athlete who's a senior at Refocus Valley High School. I will not mention my I will not mention my son's name. However, he has an IEP diagnosed with an emotional regulation impairment. On August the 30th, 2022, Dr. Christopher Healy, superintendent, emailed me a follow-up superintendent hearing letter stating my son will not be returning to Rancocas Valley High School. Also, my son is not allowed to attend extracurricular activities or after-school functions, including senior pri privileges, dances, and trips. September 6, 2022, I sent to the superintendent a contest letter because of the harshness of his disciplinary action. The incident, Dr. Healy has based his determination on occurred last school year during my son's junior year, um, ju junior year of high school. My son was harassed, threatened, stalked, and provoked by a student after school. As my son proceeded to walk away, the following pursued. At this point, he felt his life was in danger of being harmed. Once the student and his friend were directly behind my son, the fear of being injured caused my son to turn around and the two began to fight. This occurrence caused a manifestation determination of his disability. According, uh, I'm sorry, during the superintendent hearing, this was discussed along with a picture showing my son being followed. Also discussed were the death threats my son received from the student in which my son and I reported the information to the assistant principal, Anthony Boker, and resource officer Thompson at Rancocas Valley High School. However, I was informed by the resource officer nothing could be done if my son's name was not mentioned. I responded his name was stated and sent an email to the resource officer showing proof. Dr. Healy ordered my son to take a psychiatric evaluation and my son was cleared by the psychiatrist. The district filed charges on my son and the Burlington County Family Division dismissed the charges. Dr. Healy showed contempt to all the facts presented in the superintendent hearing and called the altercation one-sided several times. An appeal hearing took place on September 27, 2022 with the board members. I provided a video of the fight showing my son being followed along with a document from the Burlington County Courts dismissing the charges with the judge's signature and a comment from the probation officer advising my son to maintain his grades attendance and continue to participate in football and track. Also screenshots of the student threatening to kill my son on social media. I mentioned in the appeal hearing there was an incident that took place last school year. My son was assaulted by another student in his chemistry class. The student was allowed to go back to class without being suspended. An email was sent to the assistant principal, Mr. Boker, expressing my concern. Dr. Healy emailed me a letter on October 3rd, 2022, informing my son is to continue suspension for the remainder of 2022-2023 school year. During the suspension, he is to continue 10 hours of instructions per week. Dr. Healy's decision was appalling and unjustly. It's extremely disconcerting. My son has been removed from the school with an IEP due to an altercation that violated his manifestation determination of his disability in which he was harassed, attacked, and more importantly, life threatened. Rancocas Valley staff ne neglected to investigate death threats towards my son involving a student attending the school. Instead, my son is being labeled as a dangerous person, was placed on home instructions, and now attending an out-of-school uh, alternative school. This last year is crucial to my son as he plans to continue his education. Yet instead, my son is currently experiencing depression due to the stress of the decisions from the district and is causing detrimental harm. Thank you for your attention and time. Thank you, ma'am.
we have anyone else for comments on non-agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move on to comments by commissioners. Commissioner Singh. Oh, um, thank you. Um, foremost, congratulations um, to all the electors, uh, re-electors, um, last night. And, um, and thanks to all the uh, candidates that participated, even if you did not win. Um, democracy works with the having competitive elections. We did have a spitter of the campaign. Um, that manifested in this bit of um, commissioner meetings. So um, now everything has come to an end and we're ready for Thanksgiving and holidays. So congratulations uh, to our new sheriff um, and uh, commissioner elected um, uh, incumbent, Alison Echo. And um, oh, just another thing I do share with my colleagues uh, today, I took my kids to the Mount Arnie's uh, Mount um, the Park, beautiful park if you got kids. Doesn't matter, but if you just want to take a nice little escape, a walk, um, you go to that park, take that two mile walk, hike, or bike ride, um, it is one of the best. Um, so I've been to all the county parks. I like to think they're all the park where you can do the hike, but every single one of our parks has some very unique features. Um, and Mount Arnie's Park, uh, in my head, when I'm like, let me just go there just so I know what it is. It's going to be another trail, tree lines. With well, how is it going to get different than any other? The, the scenery, the openness of the park, the design, um, the uh, little hills you can climb on is amazing experience for um, kids and adults. So many people I saw on the trail with the dogs and, and, and uh, people just slowly going around. So I just wanted to shout out to our parks department um, and just share that with everybody. Great park, so please visit. Back to you. Thank you. Commissioner Echo. Um, I just wanted to say that I am honored to be given the opportunity to continue to work and serve Burlington County. That's what I have. Thank you very much. Commissioner Hobson. Um, just one quick thing. So Ms. Harper, I see you talking to um, the best person you should be talking to right now, but I, I, I presume you've already gone to our county superintendent. Um, is that what you're working on? Okay, because just wanted to let you know we, we don't have any purview over school boards, but the county superintendent is probably your best bet at this point. So get the information from Charlene, and I'm happy to have a conversation with you um, as well. But that is where I would direct you to. We'll see the county superintendent. Um, other than that, I would like to thank everyone for coming this evening and get home safely. Thank you, Commissioner Hobson. I'd like to add my uh, congratulations to Commissioner Echo. She's already been a great addition to our board. I want to wish her a successful term in office, and I look forward to continuing to work with her on behalf of all of our residents of Burlington County. Uh, Commissioner uh, Pullian couldn't be with us this evening, so I'd like to take a moment to highlight an item from tonight's agenda. We voted to award a contract to Earl Asphalt Company for this year's road overlay program which totals just over 34 miles on 17 county roads through 13 municipalities. We successfully negotiated this $12.2 million contract after rejecting bids from Earl and other, contracts twice th and other contractors twice this fall. As Commissioner Pullian mentioned at our last meeting, we rejected those bids because they significantly exceeded the engineer's cost estimates for the work. I'm pleased to report that the final contract is more than $650,000 below the, pre, the lowest bid we previously received in the first round of bids. And it is more than $360,000 less than the lowest submission during the second round of bids. Now that this contract is awarded, we expect work will begin soon. And while it's weather dependent, there's no reason to think it won't be able to progress quickly this month and continue through winter. So by rejecting those bids, we ultimately saved hundreds of thousands of dollars and our county's taxpayers while still living up to our responsibility to maintain and enhance our infrastructure. Providing prudent fiscal oversight is our responsibility and all of us up here take it very seriously. It's why our county had the lowest county average tax the last three years. 
I want to thank our county engineer and his entire team, our, our finance and legal departments for their great work in bringing this matter to a very successful conclusion. Thank you very much. And finally, Friday is Veterans Day. It's not just a three-day weekend, but a chance for all of us to recognize our veterans, their service, and their sacrifice. I know many of us here are attending events to honor veterans. We've already attended the event today at Lakeview Cemetery with a, a great young man. And uh, just take a moment sometime on Friday to thank veterans for the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. Having said that, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. So, second. Motion by Singh, seconded by